Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be painting uh, the Nurgle Demon Prince. And I'm starting out with Oak Brown. And I'm basically just basing the whole model. The idea with this one was to make a, uh, a nice gradient for both a green and uh, a skin tone to match for an undertone. Uh, the second color I'm using here is Monster Brown, and then I'm using Skeleton Bone. And with each of these layers, I'm just building up on the previous layer, building up the highlights. So this one, I'm just focusing more on the face and his belly of his skin tones. And then the final color I'm using is uh, Brain Matter Beige. And I'm just hitting it from the side on top of the head and the very front of his belly. So with those four undertone colors, this is what he's looking like. You got a nice gradient, light to dark. So the first color I'm basing is Goblin Green for the armor. And I'm just focusing on the uh, you know the darkest points. So like the bottom of the pads, towards the end, ends of the pads. So with the brown undertones underneath, it just helps make that that green, you know, a little more earthy or a little more moldy. It gives them a moldy look. So the final color I'm using is a uh, scaly hide. I'm just hitting the top of the pads, the very rim on this chest piece there. So that's what he's looking like after his armor is based. Next I'm using Crusted Sore, and this will be our first color for the skin. And same with the Goblin Green, I'm just focusing this in the uh, darkest crevices of the model. So all around the base of the neck, around the borders of his belly. Just in those darker areas. And as a highlight, I'm using uh, Warlock Purple. And I'm just fading this down a little bit more. We're not wanting to overtake the brain matter beige, but we're just wanting to fade it into it. We still want to have those highlights. And with the brown undertones, it works well with uh, painting the skin tone and the armor. They complement it well. So that's what he's looking like after the skin tone. Next I'm using Kraken skin and with a sponge I'm just adding a little bit of texture to his armor. So we're just stippling this on there. So I'm just using the skeleton bone and same thing with the armor, I'm just adding texture to his skin. So I just gave him a couple of freckle marks. He's already got texture on the skin, but 
I wanted to do the same type of layering for each. Just gives it, just adds more detail to it. So next, I'm using plate metal metal, and we're just dry brushing this over all the metallic parts. So a sword, uh, the chains hanging off of the, uh, the pipes on, on his other arm. The brown also complements that as well as we're making him weathered. The, the brown stains on the sword looks pretty cool. So that's what we're looking like. Next we're going to be basing true copper and we're putting this on all his trim work. That's what he's looking like after the true copper is based. So now I'm just going back with the skeleton bone and I'm adding the uh, lining on the bone, so just adding texture to it. I didn't even base them with uh, any color, I just left it the. Uh, the overspray from the brown tones, which gives it a you know a burnt wood look. So next, I'm using the brain matter beige, and I'm just dry brushing his uh, the cloth in between his legs. Just adding highlights. And then for his little uh, emblem on the cloth, I just used Necromancer, uh, Necromancer Cloak to base those. Now I'm just washing his uh, flesh with blue tone. And this gives it a uh, you know, a more grungy look. Definitely looks more fleshy now with the blue tone. It looks good over the uh, the brain matter. Next I'm using AK Interactive Streaking Grime and we're just washing all his armor. And darken it up a bit. And give it some definition. And since it's an enamel paint, I can use a sponge with some mineral spirits on it. Just start wiping away at the highlights. So that's what he's looking like. You can see the cracking skin peeking through. Since the color's so vibrant, after adding the uh, streaking grime and then wiping it away, it helps make that pop a whole lot more. So now I'm using oil paints to weather him up. This is uh, emerald green, and I just mix this, you know, to a one-to-one -one ratio mineral spirits, and I just dabble it wherever, you know, I think it would, you know, corrode. And 
just looks good over the uh, the true copper. And I just use the dry sponge to wipe it away. And just leaving it in the uh, deepest spots. Next I'm using yellow ochre and this will be my rust color for the chains and the, all the metallic or all the shining silver pieces. So anywhere the, like the I think the rust would settle on the chains. So that's what it looks like after the wipe away. So the, the yellow ochre leaves like a chalky look on it. Which I think is ideal for rust. Next I'm going to grease them up a bit with the black oil. And same thing, I'm just adding, adding it in places where I think he would be... Or where it would look more interesting, really. And that's basically it. After that, I just uh, varnished him. And then I uh, put a gloss medium over his eye. And that completes him. Thanks everybody for watching my video, all my links will be in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see y'all in the next one.